Well, in terms of the, uh, the broader body of law, this decision is much more consistent with Justice Alito's views in the Newark case, that if you have a secular exception somewhere, you've got to have a religious exception too. Much more consistent with that and, and much less consistent with uh, cases that say you've got to single out only religion or you've got to have a bad motive, actual hostility towards religion. It's not clear cut because we're both going on in Masterpiece. There was actual hostility and there was uneven enforcement. But I think it's a step in the direction of interpreting the free exercise clause in a more protective way. That's the, that's the biggest significance. With respect to the particular dispute about wedding vendors, you know, what it portends for that really depends on what it portends for the larger issue. If in the next case they say uneven enforcement means you can't enforce against the conscience objectors, I think conservative Christians will be pretty have a pretty easy time showing uneven enforcement because they can send out testers with very conservative, aggressively stated religious messages that secular liberals are going to find offensive and refuse to produce. And they can show that uh, the law is being unevenly enforced. You know, if they say, you know, Masterpiece was really just about overt hostility to religion, well, that's much harder to prove, and it's especially hard to prove to the satisfaction of a, of a judge. So, you know, what it, what it means for the wedding vendor cases is pretty much dependent on what it means for the larger issue.